Hi everyone, welcome. Thanks so much for stopping in. I'm Rena, and in today's Boxes and Deals, I'm going to have a little fun. We're gonna do something different, and we're gonna kinda of do a series of this. So I've been on YouTube for five years this year, actually this month, May, and back in the beginning, I was showing a lot of the classic subscription boxes, Ipsy, Macy's Beauty Box, Allure, even the Walmart beauty box, back when Sephora Play was around, Target beauty boxes were around, Birch Box, um, before they changed ownership. <laughs> so I was doing all of those kinds of subscription boxes when they were really big. And then 2020 hit. <laughs> so I wanted to kind of do a series, kind of part of my five year anniversary of showing back to the classics. And it's been a while since I have shown Ipsy Allure or any of those. So I wanted to do kind of getting back into it, but just kind of make it fun as a, here's what it's like now and or still. So I'm going to do two things today. I'm gonna to show you three months worth of Ipsy Glam Bag. Now I do get the Glam Bag, sometimes the Boxy Charm and sometimes the Icon Box. The icon is seasonal, but the others are monthly, but you can skip anytime you wish. So you can see what the spoilers are for the most part. <laughs> Actually, I shouldn't even say the most part. You can see some of the spoilers. You may or may not get any of those spoilers, but um, before the month, before the following month, and you do have to decide by the last day of the month to skip the following month and you can do that as often as you wish so I <clears throat> have excuse me I've done that quite a bit with BoxyCharm that's BoxyCharm and Ipsy have kind of combined um, that was another one I used to show back before they combined but now they are all one so we have the Ipsy glam bag and then the BoxyCharm box which used used to be Ipsy I've forgotten already what it was the box, Ipsy's box is now <clears throat> boxy charm. And then the icon box is seasonal. So we're gonna show three months worth of Ipsy. So February, March, and April. I have not received my May Ipsy yet. Um, I yet did get the May icon box. So I will be showing the May Ipsy bag and icon box when I do receive those. But for now, we're going to show just three months past of Ipsy Glam Bag and using makeup products from those glam bags. So before I show you the bags, first I'm going to show you, we'll do, we'll finish my makeup. So I did do the base with foundation, concealer, um, my brows, and eye primer. So everything else I'm going to use from three months worth of Ipsy Glam Bags. If you'd like to see my Ipsy Glam Bag makeup look and what products I received in February, March, and April, please stay tuned. All right, so we'll start with the liquid blush I received, and that was last. That was in March or er, in April. Excuse me. That was last month in April. I received the Ace Beauté Liquid Blush in the shade Pastel Persimmon, and I've been eager to try this one. It looks very pretty, and the interesting thing is. I cannot find this for sale anywhere. So I don't know if it's a brand new product that they just haven't released yet, which is unlikely for Ipsy, <laughs> or if it's exclusive to Ipsy and they don't sell it anywhere else, or if it was a past product and you just can't find it and maybe it was limited edition, I don't know. Even past products, usually you can find them somewhere, whether it's Poshmark or Mercari or one of the, you know, those. But, so I thought it was really interesting that I couldn't find this anywhere. So I don't even, and I know that this is a mini size, but I have no idea how much this, how much the regular price is or how much this is valued at, but I am glad that I have it 
because it is really pretty. I'll swatch it for you so you can kind of get an idea. It's kind of a peachy pink, but it's kind of a very summery pastel. That's blended in, but you can do more. Like I just kind of rubbed it a little bit, but you can also blend it a little more so it's more subtle. You barely can even can barely even see it. So you can go anywhere in between. A little bit with the liquid blushes does go a long way. And I'm, I wish you could see it. Uh, I am trying to rub it off now that it's rubbed in and it's not easily coming off, which is a good thing. So you know it's not gonna just wipe off of your face in the hot summer heat. So we're just gonna start with a couple dabs like that since it is a very light color. If it was a dark color, I'd probably just do one dab. And then I like to use a sort of dense type of uh, brush so I could kind of dab and blend at the same time. Oh yeah, so even the bright pink goes a long way. I did three, I mean a light pink. I did three dots. Um, again, if it was a deeper color, I would have just done one and I'm sure it would still be plenty. And then of course you can always build that up as well. I have really gotten to love liquid blushes because of how beautifully they blend into your skin and it just looks like flushed, flushed dewy cheeks. I feel like they last longer as well. They're easier to blend in and easier to build up or blend out. Like if you put too much, see this is a lot more than this side, then you can blend it out or add more if you want to build it up. But it is very easy to just kind of blend it out if you did get too much. You can also just add a little bit more concealer or foundation just to dab it out if it is way too much or way too dark. All right, so that is a love. Next we'll do, I'll do the highlighter last. And I'm not gonna do a setting spray or setting powder this time because I didn't receive any in the bags. I'm just gonna do with what we got. All right, so next we'll go ahead and go, we'll do the eyeshadow. I did receive two different palettes. This one in April and this one in February. So in April, we received, I received the Chica Beauty Fiesta Mini Eyeshadow Palette. I really love that lately they've been occasionally including, even if it's a mini palette, I just think that is so fun. I love receiving makeup in my Ipsy bags and I feel like lately they have been paying a little more attention to the profiles. I still will get things that I don't necessarily um, want or like or use, but I love trying new things. So for the most part, they have been sending more makeup than anything. Also more perfumes than they used to, which I love and variety of different things. All right, so this is the palette and I think it's absolutely adorable. You've got your neutrals and then you've got your pops of color to go with them. So that's good for any time, day or night. So we have the Chica palette and this is a new brand to me as well. So I love discovering new brands. Most of the, a lot of my favorite brands that I've discovered have been through Ipsy. So Chica Beauty Fiesta palette. And then in February, we received the Paranova eyeshadow palette. And I have that's another brand that I discovered through Ipsy and I've loved everything that I've received from them. I have uh, some eyeliners from them, some, what else? Nail polishes, I love their nail polishes. I think there's been a couple other things, I can't remember what, but this I thought was absolutely adorable. This is, I'm trying to see if there's a name for this palette. I'm not seeing it anywhere. So maybe it's their only palette because there's not a name for it. It's just the Paranova eyeshadow palette. It's got some great summer and fall shades. 
You've got your moms and pinks or berries and then some bright pops of summer fun and you even can use this one as a bronzer. Wonderful summer palette. And look at them together. I think they great they make great companions. And I would even put the blue and yellow together, honestly. So we'll use those for this for applying. I will kind of speed through so that it, this video won't be too long. And I'm going to take the middle one on this Fiesta palette, kind of my all over base shade. today I think I will go daring and do a pop of teal. I like to clean my brush off if I want to use the same brush. This is from Sigma and it's amazing. Sigma Switch. Just wipe off the color and then keep on going. <laughs> Take the deeper teal. Right. I'm just gonna go right over the other teal and it just kind of emphasizes it more having that other teal as the base shade. So I'm gonna add some of this beautiful copper in the inner portion. Totally new. I've never done this combination, so. Just trying to blend that in so it kind of just looks like it gradually changes. And I'm going to take this deeper brown right there in the middle for the lower lash line. And then for the inner corner, we're going to do a pop of yellow. So that's these two palettes, the Pier Nova and the Chica Beauty. Then, back in January, I got these two eyeliners. January, I actually had two glam bags, also in April. Um, but January, I got these two eyeliners, one in each bag. Thankfully, they were both different colors. So this is by YC Collections. And one is in the shade, I have to read them again. El Yunki, right here. The green shade. And they do have smudgers on the back, which I like. And they're supposedly duochrome or multi-chrome. So I'll show you a swatch. It's green to yellow to blue and turquoise. So we're going to use that one because I think that will go perfectly with the eye look. And then the other shade that I got was Koki. It's this one, and this one's more of a bronze. I will say this one doesn't seem to shift as much, but it's kind of a bronze to purple to kind of an orangey, I don't know, red. Yeah, that one's harder to see the shift. That would match too, because I am wearing the bronzy color, but we're going to go with the green for my waterline. Now with it being there, you can't really see the shift, but it just adds a nice pop of color that I think goes well with the eye look. Okay. 
And again, it does have the smudger so you can use it on as actual like eyeliners. It might be too late to smudge these. Let's see. Yeah. So they do dry down quickly, but if you do it, you know, right away, you can smudge it out. So that's nice that they do dry down quickly. So let's put some mascara on and then we'll do highlighter and lips. All right, so the mascara I got was from April and we got the Tarte Big Ego. I have, no, you know what? I've tried almost all the Tarte eyeshadows. I don't think I've tried this one. I don't remember. But that is one big brush. I like a lot of the Tarte mascaras. I think this one's supposed to be volumizing. There's Big Ego. And then highlighters. I got several between January to April, or between February to April. Actually, in January, I got this one, the Ariza. So I'll go ahead and show you that one. I happen to have it here. This is the Ariza Baked Opaline Highlighter in the shade Sun Kissed. And it is gorgeous. It's kind of a golden with almost a pink undertone. And it's very soft. So if you like just a soft glow, kind of just a soft pearlescent glow. Very soft, you can barely see it here. Let me try it over here where you might be able to see it more. It's right here. It's very subtle, just kind of gives a golden glow. So we have that one that's built up on my fingers after swatching. swatching. So it does look like you can build it up So that's Oriza. Again, I got that one in January. And then in March, I got Phase Zero Rose Gold Highlighter. These are all deluxe size. So the packaging looks like this. And it is rose gold. Like butter. It's like almost creamy. So we'll put that one here. It does have a little more pigment to it, and I love the color. Like a pinky peach, but you can also blend that out very nicely. Again, pearlescent rather than sparkly. So beautiful. You can blend it out. You could build it up, make it bright. Beautiful. Leaning toward that one between those two. And then in April, my second bag, I got just, this is a new brand to me as well. Zamina. This one looks like a rose gold as well. In the shade Sparkling Champagne. All right, and then that is the shade. It looks kind of a peachy pink as well. Oh, even more pigment. Wow. Yeah, that one's got a lot. Let me see, that can also blend out nicely, but with that one, a little goes a long way. It is a little more shimmery. I think I'll use that one. That's really pretty. That is really pretty. like it so very pretty highlight yeah I can even tap that out a little bit to make it less prominent because that does give a very nice glow and can add a little bit to my brow bone. Whoa. Yeah, definitely a little goes a long way. I'm not used to being so pigmented and blinding. 
That is really pretty. So that's the highlighters. I love receiving highlighters and we got three different ones. So then last is lips. February, I received this Lottie London Oil Slick Lip Oil. I have not tried this yet, it's still sealed. March, I received this one by Ofra. It's a lip gloss in Blissful. The only problem with this one, I did try it one day and you have to open it very carefully because I wish it came in their normal tube um, because it made a mess and kind of exploded. But that's the color and you can see it's already coming out just immediately without even any pressure. That's, I'll swatch it for you. Oh, it didn't. It's really pretty. It's not showing up very well, but it's kind of a shimmery bronze color. So that was in March. This is the one I received in April. This is Kiss and Smink. We received the shade of Peony. I have tried this. I really like it. It's a fun pink color. It doesn't really go with our look, but let me see. So it looks like that. You know what? Oh, oh, it smells so good. It smells fruity. I don't think the Ofra one is scented. Surprisingly, I didn't receive any lipsticks in any of them. So that's the Peony Kiss and Smink. And I like that it feels more like a balm or like a, almost a lip oil, almost Vaseline-like. So it's not sticky or tacky at all. I like it. We'll put a little bit of the Ofra one just so we can see what it looks like. Oh, yeah, I forgot. It's a little more metallic than I remembered. <laughs> that would be pretty over a deeper shade of lipstick, like a deep brown that is very metallic. <laughs> yeah, I can't take myself seriously with that on, honestly. <laughs> we'll go back to the uh I'm really surprised that out of three months with April being two bags I did, I only got two lip products that's really surprising all right we'll put this one back on and now it looks metallic because there was still some Oprah all right so real quick we'll go ahead I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I received in all three bags well four bags because in April I got two <laughs> all right so the February bag looked like this I think it's adorable it's kind of a satiny it was for Valentine so it's got the heart with the bow for the zipper and we got that Paranova palette yes love that the Lottie London oil slick lip gloss I'm happy, I'm excited to try it, but I'm holding out because I have so many others that I'm working through. So I definitely am excited about this. I love lip products. Oh yeah, that's a third lip product, sorry, I said two. I just didn't wanna open this one yet since I have others open. And then we got an Ofra silicone primer. I have not tried their primers, but this one is not open yet and I'm probably gonna put that in a giveaway. And then, because I have a lot of primers, and then we got this memoir. Um, they've been doing a lot of memoir perfumes in their sales. They even have some candles. And then this is a body, lo body lotion. And it's in, what is it? Wildflower Meadows or something like that. Let me see. Wildflower Field. I was close. And I didn't think I would like it because I'm not too much into florals. But, and it's sealed still, but I could smell it through. 
that seal and it smells beautiful. It does have floral, but it almost has like a something else, like a feminine musk and maybe some fruitiness to it. I don't know. I like it. I don't know what it's supposed to smell like, but it smells beautiful. So I'm happy about that. And the Define Me um, does some themed ones. They've done a Milan, they've done Ariel, and then they did a Barbie perfume. And honestly, something is off. I don't know if it's old or what. Like, I can smell the fragrance, but underneath that fragrance, I'm smelling something really off. So, yeah. Um, it smells like it would be a pretty fragrance without that one old sm I don't know how to describe it. It's almost, I hate to say, almost a fishy smell. So, like, old, something old with it. Something wrong. Um, anyway, so that's probably my only nah yes um i have a lot of primers so i'll put, probably put that in a giveaway this i love that i got it but it might go in a giveaway we'll see and then i love this palette so the february bag definitely two out of three three out of i mean two out of five three out of five uh, that if I do keep this for myself. The perfume, I'm not sure. All right, and then March, I loved this bag. It's kind of marbleized, that faux leather. And then on the back, it's kind of this kind of sandy brown. So it's kind of like desert vibes. And then it's got this beaded pole, zipper pole. I think it's adorable. And then in this one I received, oh, what was my choice? I think my choice, you always get one choice for the bags. And I think for February, this was my choice. All right, so in March, we got this Ofra lip gloss. I think that's a bust. We got Gloss Modern Clean Luxury Radiant Polish. So this is a body exfoliator. Oh, but that smells good. It is sealed still. I need to try that one. I love the Gloss Modern products. Um, I tried their hair products first, then they had the perfumes and body scrub, body lotion. So I have a few of those. So I'm excited to get that one. We got a um, eyeshadow brush by Wing Me, I believe. Yes, Wing Me. And this is a mega shading brush. So that's what it looks like. Let me pull it down there. So kind of wide. And I'm gonna go ahead and keep this in the plastic and put that towards the giveaway. All right, and then we got the phase zero highlighter. That's a win, I really like that. And we got, I think this one was my choice. Um, can't remember, but this is Maison Louise Marie, and I love their perfumes. And this is just a sample size. I thought it was going to be a little bigger, but that's okay because I will take all of the samples I can get of any of theirs. And it's just the what 1.5, I'm guessing, yeah, 1.5 milliliter sample vial but it smells so pretty. It's kind of tropical, beachy. How would you, do? I'm gonna put some on to just see if I can describe it. Very beautiful for summer and spring. The notes that it's saying are Mugwai, fi uh, Tuscan Fig, and Tonka. Those are the main scent notes. Yeah, it smells, it makes me think of Hawaii. I feel like I can pick up Plumeria or something. I don't know. It's beautiful. Okay, so it does give the rest of the notes, top notes. Mugwe, coconut waters. I can smell the coconut. Lemon, mid notes, Tuscan fig, Tonka, agave, base notes, vetiver, amber, and santal. 
and it is absolutely beautiful. So I got that win. So yes, yes, and yes for me, three out of five. This Ofra lip gloss was a bust. The Wing Me brushes, I do like getting brushes. I already have this one. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and put that towards the giveaway. And then in April, we received the Cheek Beauty Fiesta Palette win. We got the, uh, this is, um, what is it? I keep taking my glasses off because they bug me, but I need them to read. This is Gold Fadden. Gold Fadden MD Body Surge Hydrating and Restoring Body Moisturizer. I was excited to get that because I love body creams. Let me see, I can't remember if I've smelled this yet or not. I like the feel, it's not heavy, and so that's great for summer. You can just put it on in the morning. Oh, yes, definitely great for summer. Put it on in the morning, it's moisturizing, and it gives you zest and energy because it smells like, it smells like key lime pie. That smells, oh my gosh, that's amazing. So I did get that. That is a plus. I got the Ace Beauté blush and I really like that. And I got the Tarte Big Ego Mascara and I like that. And I got this concealer brush and I really like this. This is also a newer brand that I've been seeing lately. It's BYOD for Be Your Own Desire but I like how big it is, perfect for concealer. So this was a five out of five for April. Oh, and the April bag looked like this. Just a cloth, kind of canvas cloth, orange interior, and then this little zipper pull is a peach. <laughs> how adorable is that? All right, so five out of five. The body lotion smells amazing, the blush, the palette, the mascara, and an amazing concealer brush. That was my favorite bag out of all those so far. And then my second April bag had the highlighter that I used that is very pigmented and beautiful. And we got Dew of the Gods Amalfi Gold hair serum. It's a mini. I have not tried this yet. You just put it on for extra shine. This is the cute little bottle. Let me see if it has a scent. Not much of one. So that's the dropper. So that's the oil. We'll just put a little bit on the ends. Because my hair is naturally oily so I don't want to put too much but it's always good even if your hair is oily it's good to put some extra moisturizing so that your your scalp isn't producing more it's kind of the same with the face you just have to learn the balance of what's the good amount without getting it too oily yeah it doesn't seem to have a scent so there's a hair oil that was okay I do like getting different products. I'm glad it's not skincare. And then we got another Big Ego mascara, but I'll probably use it. And another Body Surge. Let me see if this one's open or sealed. Okay, that one's still sealed. So maybe I'll share it, maybe not. <laughs> it smells so good. I would love to share it. And then we got the Kiss and Smink lip gloss, which I really like. So that was an amazing bag as well. I think the other April one was better, but this one was also five out of five. April was amazing. Again, I will post when I have May. That one also will be the icon box. So next time I do one of these, I will do all makeup from BoxyCharm, Ipsy's BoxyCharm that I've gotten February, March, wait, 
I have to, I don't know which months because I do skip some of those. So I'll have to see which months I did get them. So I'll show you those. And then another video, I will do the icon boxes. So I got the icon box in February and I went ahead and got the May one as well. So I could show you both of those and do the makeup from those back to the basics again. Allure, um, I did get one Macy's Beauty box, Birch box I tried for a few months and then what else? I think that was it. So Allure, yeah, so we'll kind of include those in our Back to the Basics series. And then also, speaking of five years, my five year anniversary, what I'm doing is I'm gonna start filling up a medium size flat rate box. And this one already has some stuff in it. Sneak peek, it's already almost full. So this one's already almost ready to go. I'll add these items from Ipsy that I said I would put in there. So we've got eyeshadow brush, the body lotion, the sealed one. We've got the lip gloss, the Lonnie London, and the Ofra silicone primer. So we'll add those and maybe add some things from the boxy charms or we'll see what else. Once I get it full, I'm not sure what else I'll add to it quite yet, but once it's full, I will let you know and we'll do random comments from random videos. So a random comment picker from a random video, if you don't know which one yet. It could be from any May video, it could be any June video, etc. So I'm gonna try to start doing those more frequently. All right. If you have any questions for Ipsy about Ipsy, there's so much information. I would almost have to do an entire video just on how Ipsy works and the extras you can get and etc. etc. So if you are interested in learning more about Ipsy or maybe you've been kind of sitting on the fence but aren't sure if it's worth it, let me know in the comments and I would be happy to um, share. I've been a subscriber for Ipsy probably the longest of any subscription. I've never stopped. Before I even started my channel, I was subscribed to Ipsy. So it's been years and years and I still love it. So yeah, it's definitely, I, I love that they do include small businesses sometimes as well, or indie, indie brands, because that's also how I've come to meet some of those. But what do you think? Are you a subscriber of Ipsy? Do you like it, love it, ready to give it up? Um, do you like the sales and do you get all of them? Do you get the bag, the boxy charm, and the icon or just one of them? Let me know in the comments. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in the next video. Bye!